Motor Week is made possible by Rock Auto and Tire Rack. Thomas J. McManaman of Lincoln Park, New Jersey has an interesting question, John. He would like to know about the different types of four-wheel drive systems that are available for multi-purpose vehicles. Well, first, let's define what we're talking about. We're talking four-wheel drive and not all-wheel drive. All-wheel drive typically is used on a vehicle that is designed for sporty driving. It's not designed for low traction situations such as deep snow or mud or sand. Now the most basic of the systems that you're going to find probably are going to incorporate a unit like this. This is a viscous coupling. Now we have a shaft that goes into one end of it, a shaft that comes out of the other end. And whenever we have a difference in the turning speed of one shaft as opposed to the other, it causes a fluid inside to heat up. As it heats up, it pushes against these clutch discs and it locks one shaft to the other. Well, that does away with wheel spin but it has a drawback, and that is we have to have spinning wheels before it can work. So here's the other extreme. This is something that really does a tremendous job. This is an electronically controlled transfer case. Now it uses wheel sensors that send signals to a computer, much like an ABS brake system. The computer analyzes these signals, and it knows in a fraction of a second, long before the wheel actually spins, that there is a loss of traction. Then it sends a signal to the transfer case. The transfer case uses an electronic clutch and it locks everything together and does away with the wheel spin, almost literally before it occurs. Really an impressive unit, a very desirable option. But you pick the option that you want as far as the transfer case and the type of four wheel drive and everything, but it goes beyond that. We have drive shafts that send this power from the transfer case out to the front and the rear of the vehicle. Now here's a typical differential that we would have in one of these vehicles. It's an open differential and that means if one wheel starts to spin out here at the end of the axle, no transfer of power to the other one. And if we had that situation front and rear, we could have two wheels that were spinning and no transfer of power to the other wheels and we still only have two wheel drive. So what do we look for? We look for something like this. There are a number of names for these, like traction lock and limited slip and so on, but this uses clutches inside the differential so that if one axle starts to spin, it transfers the power over to the other one. And if you have this type of locking differential front and rear, you truly do have four-wheel drive. Now, if you go through the option book and you pick out the options that you want, if they're available for the vehicle that you select, you get this sort of operation going, I can tell you, you'll have true four-wheel drive. And if you have a question or a comment, write to me. If I use your letter on the air, I'll send you a MotorWeek t-shirt. The address is MotorWeek, Owings Mills, Maryland, 21117.